these things are selling at six to eight cap, kind of standard to the market. Um, vacancies three to five percent. The cash on cash from an investor standpoint is between eight to twelve percent year over year. You do get bonus appreciation, and that's really nice. I would wonder how the insurance compares, right? For Lux that's Industrial right. versus yeah. like multifamily. Any thoughts on that, uh, Tom? It's it's way lower because again, um, just the the, uh, it, the the insurance for individual harm and injury much lower because you have 20 people now working uh, versus what would be, you know, hundreds or thousands in a multifamily space. Um, the structure itself is just, it's just aluminum sheds, right? You're not talking about high, high value dollars in terms of build outs. Um, we build out an office in each unit. It's about 15 to 18K. We build out a bathroom. That's about 20K. They have their individual split HVACs and their 30 foot tall ceilings. I mean, they're not, we're not, we're not talking about some palace of Versailles here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. but uh, yeah, so, and then just, just on the economics before we get into it, um, generally these things are selling at six to eight cap kind of standard to the market. Um, vacancies three to 5%. The cash on cash, from an investor standpoint is between eight to 12% year over year. You do get bonus appreciation. And that's really nice. Um, and then as you exit and pro uh, exit those proceeds all factored in, you're making about a 20% annualized return on your investment for an asset class that has a high barrier to entry to my earlier comment in the uh, presentation. Yeah. So also I want to touch on this as well. Like how long does it take to build on average? Do you feel like there's pushback from cities? I mean, it seems like it's, I feel like it's one of those durable, low, low, uh, when I say maintenance, I mean, I mean like not a heavy, a heavy management, right. That probably is welcomed in communities, right. Is needed. Um, it, it, it yeah. feels like it's, it's kind of that hybrid, right. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that? Um, well, so the, it's these asset classes are not loved by cities. Um, yes. They're somewhat eyesores. So we we have to be careful where we do it. We're we're slightly out of the city. Um, and the beauty of these properties too is you don't have to be in the urban core. Right? Okay. So you're not paying top dollar for prices. You do need you do need high, highway access. There are some things that we look for in terms of the the uh, variables for success. Um, but generally, we're around suburbia because people who rent them out have a house down the street where they live, but they want to be close to their work and their work is where they're off, where their storage center is. They go there in the morning, they get their tiles and all their work, they get their crew there. They, they hand out all the stuff and then they go out to their jobs. Right. So essentially it's a centralized location before they go out to work. So they don't need to be in a, you know, class a prime location around the city, which is, I see. Perfect. Yeah.